people work as farmer and one of them is called salt farmer the use of salt in Indonesia has been increasing every year and it can be seen from the statistic data by Ministry of Industry in 2015 the need of salt was about 3.6 million ton in 2015 and the most used as a staple of production process was industrial sector by dividing 450,000 ton for various food industry 1.7 million ton for chemistry 200,000 ton for oil drilling 470,000 ton for animal feed and marinating fish 230,000 ton for another industry and 650,000 ton for host consumption the higher of salt need it will make the production increase while the residual waste of the product is also increased and following the increase in salt production so what is the waste for bitter or concentrated liquid which was product by leftover of salt production has mineral it consists of magnesium sodium calcium and many more the bitter itself usually used to a mix tofu head supplement and beauty toner because it function is also for beauty that is to leaving the skin cells improve the skin quality stimulation of collagen formation and treats acne besides bitter there are many natural material that has similar function like to the treat acne one of them is papaya leaf because they are alkaloid compound inside it as antibacterial therefore I am Ravi Andaraista as one of the honor students of Universitas Wahid Hasim 2018 and also as one of the candidates of the selection of national achievement student will be present my research about utilization pattern of salt for making peel of mass with papaya leaf extract as anti-acne the first step in making this mass was extract the papaya leaf for the papaya leaf harvesting it in pati discreet as much 13.5 to 5 kg then open it on 45 degrees celsius become 1.995 kg of dry simplicia the method of extraction that we use was maceration with alcohol solvent 96% by comparing 1 in 10 and then divided it by using evaporator to product 0.3 kg concentrate extract after having the concentrate extract i did alkali testing to find out whether it was still has the papaya leaf extract or vanish because of the process of the extraction this testing is done by reacting with water reagent Meyer, Lieberman, and Dragondorf. The positive results were characterized by the formation of wet precipitate when it was reacted with Meyer reagent, formant thread brown when it was reacted with Wagner reagent, format blackish brown when it was reacted with Lieberman reagent, and format orange when it reacted with Dragondorf reagent. The next step is formulation. The material that we need include GBMC, PVA 7%, honey, propylene glycol, propyl paraben, methyl paraben, aqua des, bitter, papaya leaf extract, and rose oil. The first step, put in 5 gram papaya leaf extract to baker glass. Mix with 12 gram of PVA then homogenizer in another baker. 1 gram of GBMC mixed with aqua des and 1 gram honey then is stir until homogeneous. Dissolve 0.05 gram propyl paraben and 0.02 gram methyl paraben into 10 gram propylene glycol. Mix the three ingredients into a baker glass stir by a magnetic stirrer. Add the appropriate pattern to the variable and then add the rose oil 
After turn into a masker, then physically and chemically test by testing which include organoleptic, drying time, pH, viscosity, and as test. <coughs> Organoleptically of all variable will have the same color that is dark green color, fragrant leaf, and slightly fragrant rose. On pH test result in variable, 1% is 6.2, 3% is 6. 5% is 6.8, 7% is 6.5, 9% is 5.9, 11% is 5.9. This change is not significant, so that every variable can be said stable. With such result, then the preparation can be said to be safe because it corresponds to the skin pH 4.5 until 6.5. Then, testing the dry time in each of the same variable is 1 hour 17 minutes. This is not accordant with the standard drying time of a mask, that is 15 until 30 minutes. This happened because papaya leaf extract contain less oil, so the drying process become longer. Viscosity testing is an expression of fluid resistant testing for flow. This test is done on the first and third day after mass making and done by using the viscosimetry test cup. The observation at room temperature show that on the third day there was an increase in the viscosity value of each variable because of the unstable use of PVA and GPMC as Happy said in his research in 2015. The last is the testing of us content that I am to provide an overview of mineral content and inorganic substance content in Simplicia, whether derived from leaf Simplicia or from process Simplicia process. The requirement of total S content is not more than 12%. While ash content is not soluble in acid to be able to give an overview of external mineral content derived from initial process until format extract. This requirement sold no extent 1% according to the Health Department of the Republic Indonesia. The result of this test has obtained the best result on a 1% variable where ash content is not soluble in acid that is 0.09% so that is explain about my research thanks for your attention and the last see you